Hospitality is the relationship between a guest and a host, wherein the host receives the guest with some amount of goodwill, including the reception and entertainment of guests, visitors, or strangers. Lewis Chevalier de Jocord describes hospitality in the encyclopedia as the virtue of a great soul that cares for the whole universe through the ties of humanity. Hospitality is also the way people treat others. That is, the service of welcoming receiving guests for example in hotels. Hospitality plays a fundamental role to augment or decrease the volume of sales of an organization. Hospitality ethics is a discipline that studies this usage of hospitality. Derives from the Latin hosps, meaning host, guest, or stranger. Hosps is formed from hostess, which means stranger, or enemy. By metonymy, the Latin word hospital means a guest chamber, guest's lodging, an inn. Hosps, hostess is thus the root for the English words host, hospitality, hospice, hostel and hotel. In ancient cultures hospitality involved welcoming the stranger and offering him food, shelter, and safety. In ancient Greece, hospitality was a right, with the host being expected to make sure the needs of his guests were met. Conversely, the guest was expected to abide by a set code of behavior. The ancient Greek term xenia, or theoxenia when a god was involved, expressed this ritualized guest-friendship relation. This ritualized relationship was codified in the Homeric epics, and especially in the Odyssey. In Greek society, a person's ability to abide by the laws of hospitality determined nobility and social standing. The ancient Greeks, since the time of Homer, believed that the goddess of hospitality and hearth was Hestia, one of the original six Olympians. In India and Nepal hospitality is based on the principle Atithi Devo Bhava. Meaning, the guest is God. This principle is shown in a number of stories where a guest is revealed to be a God who rewards the provider of hospitality. From this stems the Indian or Nepal practice of graciousness towards guests at home and in all social situations. The Tirukaral, an ancient Indian work on ethics and morality, explains the ethics of hospitality through its verses 81 through 90, dedicating a separate chapter on it. Judaism praises hospitality to strangers and guests based largely on the examples of Abraham and Lot in the book of Genesis. In Hebrew, the practice is called Hushneset Okam, meaning, welcoming guests. Besides other expectations, hosts are expected to provide nourishment, comfort, and entertainment for their guests. And at the end of the visit, hosts customarily escort their guests out of their home, wishing them a safe journey. Abraham set the pace as providing three things. The initial letters of these Hebrew words spell I shall. In Christianity, hospitality is a virtue, which is a reminder of sympathy for strangers and a rule to welcome visitors. This is a virtue found in the Old Testament, with, for example, the custom of the foot washing of visitors or the kiss of peace. It was taught by Jesus in the New Testament. Indeed, Jesus said that those who had welcomed a stranger had welcomed him. Some Western countries have developed a host culture for immigrants. Based on the Bible, John Paul II writes, Welcoming our brothers and sisters with care and willingness must not be limited to extraordinary occasions but must become for all believers a habit of service in their daily lives. Individuals are also treated as favored guests in the liberal Catholic tradition. Honored guests receive first parlance, religious clergy second parlance, and very important persons third parlance. Clergy and followers of Christ received parlance, and some may have turned away from hospitality, welcoming and serving, since active service requires detachment from material goods, family connections, and physical comforts. Hospitality is a meeting of minds. It is an openness to the familiar and meet to discuss and question the mystery of self, social events, experiences, nature and to God. Any guest should never made to feel or see that they are causing undue extra labor by their intrusion or presence. It is always polite to ask about religious convictions. John Paul II said, Only those who have opened their hearts to Christ can offer a hospitality that is never formal or superficial but identified by gentleness and reverence.
in reference to biblical scripture as a sign of politeness to always come to the defense and aid to those who give an account of hope and those interested. Christ expanded the meaning of brother and neighbor to include the stranger. That he or she be treated like a follower within for hospitality and mutual help. If the believer in Christ or whom may be a messenger of God either needed help. Circumstances made it difficult to interpret and being uncertain of whether an individual is a believer in Christ and God. One of the main principles of Pashtunwali is Melmasha. T.